Okay, when it comes to uh, binding the H2O, obviously just like a helicopter you need the gyro on the receiver board, mixer receiver board, I think it's uh, technically known, on a flat level surface, you got to, when you connected the battery, obviously after it's been charged, plug that in, there's a little on and off switch, there you have to make sure that that's switched on, you'll have your LEDs light up obviously, you turn your controller on, it will flash, and then you need to bring that forward and down again, the throttle, and then it it goes green to tell you it's bound to your um, to your little drone. Um, I will say when I was flying around in the garden, these um, I know a lot of people take them off. These little protectors here, they're not very, not particularly strong. The two on the front um, did. Uh, snap on the mat on the beam of it um, just on uh, landing in on grass and uh, touching the front so um, you know I can see why people take them off maybe they damaged all of them and they decided to take them off or they just decided to take them off I don't know now I have realized I did say before that JJRC is another um, brand name of WL toys well the WL Toys themselves, I've got one under the WL Toys name, uh, I think it's the Q, the Q2, is it the Q272 or, yeah I think it's the Q272 or something like that and it's exactly, it's virtually the same um, drone and the same uh, controller bar, I think the controls are orange and the, the round um, thumb tips of the controllers are slightly different but it's pretty much the same thing um, so if you can't get yourself a H2O JJRC H2O you might be able to get yourself a WL Toys um, Q272 does the flips and all this exactly the same uh, kind of thing the same number of six um, six motor drone, mini drone, micro drone, whatever they want to call it um, so if you can't get one of these, you can get one of them, it's exactly the same thing I personally find it um, a little bit difficult to fly because I'm used to flying my helicopters and I usually have them in mode 4 which is the um, the steering on this side on the right side stick whereas this controller you can't swap from mode 2 unfortunately the rudder which is the spin so you, if you want to turn you'd obviously turn you'd spin on the rudder and then pitch forward and spin again and pitch forward to go that way so that's what we usually do in a helicopter and to make it obviously more like your planes when you use your aileron on this side they come up with a thing called mode 4 where you, where you switch your rudder over to this side because your bank which is on this side now on the on this one um, with a both a drone and a heli which is like that when you're dead straight with your bank um, just sideways you know is virtually useless apart from stabilizing your uh, your hover really and just to bring it you know back in check and back in line um, from when you're straying off on a, on a straight run so re really when you're flying a heli and in this case a drone you know you want your you might be uh, you might you might be fine you might be one of the people that's used the helis in mode 2 and um, have been steering with this, with this um, left and right on this side as well as the th using it as the throttle to me it's a bit of a pain because you have to pitch up and down with this one so you pitch forward forward for your forward flight with that one and then steer with that one and throttle it's a bit of um you know it's a bit of a pain because I'm used to steering with this one and pitching with this one while just using this one mainly for the for the throttle and the odd bit of bank 
um, you know it's, it's, it's really throwing me out because I'm basically trying to fly something that's got the same sort of level of control but is opposite way around you know it's like trying to it's like trying to drive a car down the motorway in reverse um, with five gears in reverse if you know what I mean to me trying to fly this at the minute gravitating from from my helicopters so at the minute it's probably um, you know not the best time at the, for me at the minute to do a, a flight video of it um, but we'll do one in the future I do um, find it a bit um, of an eye opener because of my helis that I'm used to. Obviously, that needs trimming forwards a bit. Your, tr your trims are there um, on this Game Boy ish style um, transmitter. I did try, being as it was made by another brand name of WL Toys, to see if it would bond or bind to the WL Toys transmitters beans as I've seen some of the smaller helicopters and plane style transmitters they do with some of their um, little mini drones on YouTube and again it didn't want to know and neither did the bigger um, controller didn't want to know so I was stuck kinda of stuck with this one um, one thing I have noticed is my range does seem to be a bit limited um, with this, uh, when it was getting with to within a, a certain distance, it would just keep it would keep going um, until I kind of ran, ran towards it a bit and then brought it back back down again. But it would have would basically flew off. So I've heard of um, I've been looking online. I've heard the, uh, of a mod that you can do with the little aerial in there. I think I mentioned it before and I think this will definitely need to have it done where you, you just make a little hole in the surface or the, at the top of the uh, controller and just drag the little aerial wire out and possibly the same on the drone as well but I'll just try with the transmitter for the time being and hopefully that will improve the um, the distance um, from it so I think they reckon somewhere like 150 meters. Um, that's obviously distance from the transmitter, the drone to the transmitter. That's obviously how far away it is from you in length, as well um, and height combined. So you know you're only going to be be able to go half of that in length and half of it up, or the full length, the full distance all the way up straight above your head, or the full distance, you know out away from you across the field and back so you're gonna have to be you know it's not gonna go 150 meters out and 150 meters up because that's double the uh, the distance from the controller so that's something you need to bear in mind when you're flying this one really it's only a close proximity um, drone really and you can tell that by the size I mean you wouldn't want to take it too far away because you really just wouldn't see it one thing I find difficult with these micros is even though they've got the different coloured um, blades to orient and f orientate your forward flight uh, and a blue light there so you know which one's facing forward and the red is the back it's still, incre especially in the, in the daylight, the LEDs you know account for nothing because you can't really see them uh, you're only really going by the props and you can't really see them when they're going round that fast uh, creating a blur and you know it's, it's it's zooming about you can't really tell you can only tell by the actual direction that it's going and that you, you're keeping that um, nice and steady and if you lose if you get it in a real spin and you lose um, sight of which way is forward you can only really pitch it forward and see you know that it starts to come towards you then you know that it's that's that's forward or if it starts to go away from you that that's forward so that that's one thing I noticed with it. Um, another thing, what I did, come back to these propellers. You do have a spare few propellers in there, but I noticed if we can get closer. I don't know if you can see. There's um, a code. I think that one says B1. Does it? If we can see through the camera there. And 
the other one has a different code on there. That's A3, I think that says. A3, yeah. And then they've all got in the black ones have all got different a different um, a code on there now. This one has got A3 again on it, but but it's black, so that must correspond to the position on the um, like I say, I'm mainly a a plain RC plane um, hobbyist, um, and I fly a few helis. Um, in the past and I've just recently got a couple more again for this summer um, so I'm not really you know this uh, technically this is my first drone I've never really been into the, the buzz of the new uh, the new drone situation but this is my first uh, foray into that but it seems like um, the position on the props might be something to do with the positioning of the blades because if this one seems to have a different direction on the propellers itself to this blade, the angle on this blade here so it must be in relation to where they are position around um, on the perimeter on the drone um, you know this this because this this one is A3 this one is A3 and if you look you can see even in the camera that the pitches of the blades the white one at the front and the black one at the back with both the same number is exactly the same on each blade so that must correspond to it and if we look at these these two here you can see that the picture of that blade at the front the white one and this black one here is exactly the same same with the one at the back and this one here so we can only we, we can only really surmise that the pitching of the blades is different compared to where they are and these seem to be opposite you know that blade faces that way and that blade is facing that way while well, that one is facing down that way and that one is the op basically a mirror image of the opposite blade so that must be something to do with how you know they they counter each other there so that's something I've I've only just noticed. You know, if that's a a trait of most drones, which I assume it would be, then um, you probably already know that. But that's that's something I've noticed. One thing with the blades, you do, like I said before, you do get your um, your spare blades in the packet, but you might not have noticed that they're actually different. The blades, like I've just explained, are actually different in different positions. The actual uh, Pitch, pitching of the um, and the direction of the blades themselves for the different parts um, obviously they probably only supply one more um, blade for each position so if you think you've got a whole bag of black and a couple of white propellers and you're just going to put them on if you lose one then you're going to find yourself in trouble because if you lose two then you're actually, you know, you need to get the one that's the actual right pitch. Um, so what I've done is I took, I just took some regular uh, super glue, and when when the uh, glue was coming down the um, the nozzle, just right to the tip of the nozzle, I took the um, propellers off. Just got a little knife blade, or you could use a screwdriver and pop the propellers off gently pop them off and the actual metal spindle itself of the motor they sit on I just dipped about a millimetre inside the nozzle when the glue was coming down and then took it out not a lot not a lot of glue so it dribbles all the way down the spindle and ends up gluing the uh, the motor up solid just so it, it just bathes in it on the tip and then I push the motors back on I did that with each one in turn and that'll stop them from popping off yeah you might break one um, if you break one then you'll have to replace it but you, you should just even there's only a tiny bit just tacking it down look basically an equivalent of thread lock and I'll just pop pop it back off again with the knife and it should come off um, and you, you know you can always if there is any glue stuck to the spindle you can always get a craft knife blade or a Stanley blade and you, you can just go out and scrape that off so it shouldn't be that much of a problem to put the new one on um, 
you know otherwise you're going to find yourself in a situation where what's going wrong here I've replaced the propeller but it's not flying properly because you got the wrong pitch on the wrong um, position and I suppose chasing down the spares for the different blades is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a pain in the ass compared to the helicopters where you just get one uh, fixed pitch replacement rotor and the same for the tail um, the um, lipo itself it's it's about 150 mAh I think um, obviously that's not a lot of uh, flight time I think somebody said around three three minutes or something like that um, so yeah obviously smaller a uh, smaller amount of time in the air than perhaps the micro heli because you've only got one small motor on a micro heli and the odd uh, burst of the tail um, little tail motor to, to turn it every now and again um, the um, controller is just the controller that's good to know see it's just flashed it seems to have um, a safety off auto off when you when it's stationary and it's not used so if you leave it just like I have it will go off automatically um, yeah um, the batteries I think you can get spare batteries but you know I don't know if you can get any any of them in a bigger milliamp power than the 150 um, whether they're all going to be 150s and you're just going to have to charge a few of them um, you know in lieu beforehand and then when one's drained you know you have to put a new one in and then etc etc uh, charge one while you're running another two or, or, or whatever um, you know if you can get a bigger battery than that that'd be even better because you'll be able to keep it in the air long enough uh, to have some real fun with it but you know for the price what it cost you know um, about about eleven pound I think from Banggood I got this from and I, I bought one as a gift and the person um, now my, my blades haven't come off um, like I was talking about before with the blades but the person that are when we was flying uh, having, a, having a laugh with his the one I bought for him he's uh, one of his ones at the front did come off he managed to find it and put that back on so that's another reason why I did what I did with the um, the super glue just on the t very very tip tiny bit tiny tiny bit just just bathe it in it um, on the tip and then put that on I don't want them coming off he lost one of the side protector clips on his just took that uh, the remaining part of that off um, you know he's he, he, and he said just look if the other one comes off at a later date then we'll take that off then so I've I've just took the two that broke off on mine and just a bit of symmetry I've left the others on for the time being if one of these others I've no doubt they probably will at some point but if one of these others do come off I'll probably take the other side off to um, to match that um, I notice a lot of people just flying them without like I said before so it's not that big a deal so all in all a good one hopefully I'll have some good um, flight footage of the thing but I wouldn't expect anything <laughs> anything brilliant with it because uh, I get to try and get some extra practice in with it because like I say I'm, I'm used to flying the helicopter the opposite way around with the opposite way around on the controls so it's like flying a, uh, driving a car down the motorway with five gears in reverse looking over my shoulder um, if you want to use that kind of analogy so hopefully in a couple of days I should be able to get something of um, a video like we said before this thing does do um, you can push this button in and this button in and they do various different modes I think one of them is a return home so it will fly straight back to you the other um, one of the, the other buttons is a flip so it will do um, a flip like that when it's flying along and it will look like a, like a loop kind of thing on a plane what a plane would do so you know, it's, it, for the money about eleven pound it's a good it's a good little laugh laugh with your friends if they got one as they well. fly them around um you know while you're having a while you're having a drink out in the garden or wherever 
Um, it's not a bad little uh, little thing for the money. Uh, 